I never really wanted kids until I hit about 27. I tried not to have too much expectation going up because obviously I didn't, I had nothing in my life that said, you know, this is how to be a parent, this is what being a parent is going to look like. So I think I probably thought it was going to be easier than it was. I think I thought I was going to be a different kind of parent to what I turned out to be. I thought that being a parent, I would want to spend every minute of every day with Delia and, you know, just play all day and make things together. And then it turns out you just don't have the energy for that. <laughs> Definitely the isolation. It's something I didn't know before becoming a parent that was very, very real. So, you know, I worked pretty much full time right up until I had Delia and so I always had places to go and people to be with. Um, and I found the Bernardo's playgroups really good because they're really supportive, especially the Poppy playgroup because it's specifically for people with men mental health concerns. They're really, really supportive in that space. They're happy for you to chat to them with whatever you need, they're really good. They have a psychologist that comes in sort of once or twice a term, which is really good. And they sort of do supportive work through that. And they're really good at, you know, recognizing when you need a bit more help and suggesting other services and other things that they can help with. So it's been really good. And just to be in the same space with other people that are kind of going through the same journey and being to connect, uh, being able to connect and talk with people who are in the same boat as you has just, it's been, so valuable and yeah words can't describe how good it's been to just have these services as a lesbian parent <laughs> it's something that sort of happens a lot in the queer community is that we feel like we've got something to prove a lot of the time because a lot of society looks at us and says you can't be a parent you don't have a man and a woman it's not going to happen so we need to prove ourselves to be the best parents we can be and so we need to be absolutely perfect in every aspect of our lives and so i think that's a big pressure that we put on ourselves um, in the queer community, but also people with mental illness. It's, a lot of the time it's that same thing of going, people are going to judge me because they're going to say you're an unfit parent because you have a mental health condition. So you need to prove yourself a lot more to say, no, despite this, I'm a great parent and I can parent, I can parent just as well as everyone else. And so I think in, in those spaces and just me as well, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be a great parent because, you know, I have this amazing little girl and she's fantastic. She's the best thing in my life.